Hey guys, what's up? Skillslot here, and today I will be bringing you the next episode of our Stardew Valley playthrough. We are up to episode 14 of the series, so let's go ahead and let's get started. Like always, let's check the weather report for tomorrow. Welcome to the KOZV5, your number one source for weather, news, and entertainment. And now the weather forecast for tomorrow. It's going to be clear and sunny all day. Okay, so let's go ahead and head outside and start our day. Okay, so we are experiencing rain today, so we don't need to worry about harvesting our crops here. Let's go ahead, we can... I mean, we don't have to worry about watering our crops. Let's go ahead and harvest our parsnips here. Get all these grabbed up. Did we already donate a parsnip to the community center? Um, let's go ahead and see. Um, let's see if we actually have one in here that we're saving for that, maybe. Uh, we do not have a parsnip in here, so let's just check in here in Community Center and Spring Crops. We have not donated a parsnip, so we need one parsnip for that. So let's go ahead and stick one of our parsnips in here. Oh, we did have one. Okay, so let's take out those parsnips. We do have a parsnip stored right there. Nope, nope, there we go. And then we can go and sell these extra parsnips we have here. So, parsnip, parsnip, sell all the parsnips. Okay, and let's go ahead and get started with our day. So, let's go to the blacksmith and get these geodes processed. And then we'll figure out what we want to do with the diary. We can go fishing, um, or we can go to the mine and do some exploring in there. Um, I think we might do some fishing today because I don't think we've fished yet. Um, we have gotten the fishing... Um, rod from Willy back in episode 2 I believe we got that but we haven't really put it to any use yet so let's go ahead get our geodes checked out and let's donate what we can to the museum I'm not sure if we've already donated the dwarf scroll and the quartz but if not we can go ahead and do that so let's talk to Gunther okay so nothing new to donate that's fine that's what I thought we can go ahead and sell these then. And let's go into the blacksmith. Okay, so he doesn't open till 9. Okay, so let's go grab our fishing rod. And we can do that today, at least for a while. Um, because we haven't done any fishing, so we will fill up our fishing logs. And there are a bunch of areas you can go fishing. You can fish in the ocean. You can go fishing in the, um, in the river. There's also a lake you can go fishing in. If you open up the map, you got the lake up here. You got the river fishing all along here. Um, I think that's the pond fishing, maybe. And then you have ocean fishing all along the bottom here, um, which we will decide where we want to go fishing. As soon as we go, we'll sell the dwarf squirrel. We'll sell our quartz, and then we'll go get our geode processed. Might as well grab this daffodil on the way, because you always want to make sure you're grabbing all the forage you find, and we'll sell that. And then we'll just... We'll, we'll go fishing today. That's that's what we will do. So we'll go sell this, this, and this. And we'll go to our tools, our chest up here. Open that up. And we'll put the sword, the pickaxe, the hoe, and the axe away, and the watering can away, and we'll grab the fishing pole. And we'll go, and we will get our geodes checked out. Um, and we should also grab some parsnip seeds to plant, too. Um, because it is best to constantly be planting them as they are harvested. That way you've got a constant flow of money coming in. Um, so we will buy 15 more parsnip seeds here from Pierre's shop. Okay, let's see here. Into the shop. And we'll talk to Pierre. Um, parsnip seeds, so one, two, three, four, five, six. And there we go. Okay. Now that we got our seeds here... Um, there's also a quest here. Um, it's Haley's birthday. That's not what I wanted. Oh. Um, help wanted. I will love you forever if you bring me an iron bar. Um, we don't have the ability to make iron bars yet. We haven't gone far enough in the mine. Um, we could do copper, but that's not what she wants. She wants iron. So let's go ahead... 
um, go to the blacksmith. We'll get our geodes process, see what we have in there. So talk here to process geodes. And we got sandstone and five stones. Okay. So now let's go back to the museum and we'll see if we've already donated the sandstone. Um, because if we haven't, it's always good to... Okay, we have not donated the sandstone yet. There we go. Alrighty. Now let's go do some... Let's do some ocean fishing. So to get there... You go across the bridge here, and we're going to head down this way. And there's actually two different areas. You can go along the docks um, where the fishing shop and where Willie is down this way. Or you can also go over here to where we unlocked with the 300 wood. And you can fish off of these docks. Sometimes you can find different stuff in the different areas where you fish. So let's go ahead and we'll start fishing. So you just click and hold to charge up your bar. You left mouse button, click and hold, and then you cast. And now you just wait for something to bite, um, which you will see by an animation on your fishing lure here when something did bite. Okay, there we go. And then you just click and you try and follow the fish here with these, this little bar in the middle and if it stays green you catch it so we just cut a hair in length nine inches and let's go ahead and cast again let's see what we get this time it is nice on the days when it rains having extra stuff to do because then you're not wasting all your energy watering your crops eventually we'll be able to set up sprinkler systems and all kinds of things like that in our farm once we get further along in the game, but for now we can't set that stuff up yet because we're not far enough. We will eventually unlock a lot more you can do, so let's see what we cut this time. We cut a sardine. Okay, and cast again. But yeah, like I was saying, um, there will be a lot more we can do. There's actually a lot you can do in this game. It's just you have to progress in the game to unlock some newer stuff. Um, and as we do... We will always check out the new recipes, the level up stuff, everything like that to see what we do unlock every time it happens. Because each of your skills you can actually get up to level 10. Um, and it does change the game outcome a bit based on which options you choose to level up. Because if you look in the skills, you can have farming and it goes all the way up to 10, foraging, mining, fishing, combat. Um, and then at level 5, you get one bonus, and then at level 10, you get the second bonus. And there is a lot of stuff. Just like in here, there's actually a lot of fish we haven't caught. There's a lot of artifacts we haven't found. These are the minerals we found. These are cooking recipes, I believe, we learned. And these are the achievements um, that you can do. And then item ship. This is all stuff that you can just sell. And then you have your social, which is all your friends um, that you have. And everyone you know. Okay, so let's go ahead and keep fishing here. Because we still have lots of energy. So might as well use it and get some fishing done. And make a little bit of money selling some fish. Now there are some fish that you can only catch while it's raining, um, just like there's different seasonal fish, um, spring, summer, fall, and winter, it's all in, there's so much you can do, um, as I said, so let's go try fishing somewhere else, because we did catch a lot of anchovies, and we caught sardines and anchovies, um, but depending on where you go to fish, there are different types of fish you can catch here. So let's go to another area and see if we can find some newer, some different kinds of fish to catch. Um, even right here in the river. No, no, not right there. Um, well, just can't fish off the bridge. But even just here in the river, there's different fish that you can catch. Each fish um, do have recipes that go along with them. 
And some of them are harder to catch, some of them are easier. Okay, so there we go, just hold it like that. And we caught a 23-inch shad. And we got a treasure chest, which had bait and a geode. Okay. And let's go ahead and cast again. I don't think our rod is advanced enough, though, to be able to use the bait we just got. I do believe we need to upgrade to the next level of rod first. And then we'll actually be able to attach the bait to the rod to make fishing go a little bit faster. Because um, sometimes um, you can spend a lot of time fishing in this game and you still won't catch all the fish. Um, but it is nice to do. It is something different if you don't just want to spend all your time farming. Let's actually go and get our geode processed um, before he goes to bed. And we'll probably head back to the farm and throw some of this stuff um, to be sold. Um, let's go in here. Talk to him. Process geodes. Oh, there's something new. We got a malachite. Um, so we can go ahead and donate that to the museum, actually, if they're still open. I think they're open till 5. Let's go here. So they are still open. Talk to Gunther here to donate to the museum. There we go. So we get a new reward now. Um, so let's go ahead and collect our rewards. So we got nine melon seeds. Um, which we can plant in the summer. So there we go. We already have um, some seeds for when it's summertime for us to start growing some new crops on our farm. So let's head back to our farm now. Plant our parsnips. Put our fish in to be sold. Um, and then put our bait in also into our storage just so we have it in there. And we'll figure out if there's anything else we want to do this day. Um, it's only 4.30, but it is... We might do some more fishing. We'll see. Let's head back to our farm now. Put all the fish in there. Okay, let's see. In here. Sell the fish. Okay. Plant the parsnips. Like so. Perfect. Okay. Throw the bait and the melon seeds and the rocks in here. There we go. And you can even fish up. I'm not sure what kinds of stuff you can fish up in here. But in this little pond, you can actually fish too. I believe you, if you stand properly. Yeah, there we go. I'm not sure if you'll catch any fish or anything in here. I'm really not sure what you can catch in here. Um, but we'll check it out. We'll see. Let's see here. What do we catch in this little pond. Uh, let's see here. Oh, a broken CD. So you can fish up garbage. Isn't that lovely? Let's go ahead and sell that. And let's go do our wandering around to see if there's any forage stuff we can find today. And then we'll call it a day for this episode. Alrighty here. And down this way. Some days I forget to check my foraging stuff, but you should always, you should do your foraging every day. It is a good thing to level up, and it is so easy to just do it each and every day. It's just some days I honestly forget to do it, even though I know I should be doing these rounds every day. Because at the start, it is the fastest way for you to make money. So we can go ahead and get that done here. See if there's any spring onions or anything. Okay, so yeah, good thing we came and checked. There's all kinds of spring onions. Get all these harvested here. Okay. And like that. And then there's one more down here. Okay, so let's take our spring onions. We'll put them in to be sold too. And then I do believe that will be it for this episode. Um, t the next day it's going to be sunny again, so we'll have to actually take care of our farm. Maybe we'll start clearing up some of the room on our farm um, in order to start doing some upgrades to it. But we'll figure that out tomorrow. Uh, yeah, because it's getting late now. So we're going to want to go to sleep soon. 
So let's go ahead, head back to our little farm. We'll sell all of our spring onions. We'll see how much money we made today because we also sold all those fish. Um, and the parsnips did grow in today. So we should have a decent profit of stuff being sold. And we'll also see if we did level up at all. Okay, here. Let's go here. Sell all this stuff. Okay. That's everything to be sold. And in here. And let's go to sleep for the night. Yes. So it'll do the animation. So we leveled up to level 2 in farming. So we got plus 1 to water and can proficiency, plus 1 to hoe proficiency. We can now craft a stone fence. We can now craft a mayonnaise machine. And we can now craft a sprinkler. Okay, and we leveled up to level 1 fishing. We got plus 1 fishing rod proficiency. Okay, and let's see how much money we made. We made another 1,004 gold. Okay, guys, that will be it for this episode. If you did enjoy it, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and until next time, have a wonderful day.